Hello, Sim fans. This is Simulator Fan News with me, Mr. Sim Gamer. So I wanted to talk to you about Ambulance Life, a paramedic simulator. They released some information a couple of days ago, which is finally, finally, we get a reveal trailer. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've always wanted a vibrant hospital style, ambulance style game. Uh, the only thing that I have that I've played is, well, I used to love Theme Hospital as a kid. Um, I've played Two Point Hospital, many hours sunk into that game. Um, this is obviously going to be something very different. I'm hoping they nail it. I really do, because I'm excited by the idea of the chase of being an ambulance driver, being a paramedic, helping people. Um, so what have they got to say about it? Join us in a thrilling race against time as we navigate an immersive open world filled with flashing lights and high stakes drama. Step into the life of a paramedic where every second counts and every decision matters. In Ambulance Life, a paramedic simulator, you will face intense scenarios, provide a critical care to victims in shock, and manage the pressure of life-saving missions. Stay calm under pressure, use your skills to diagnose patients, and deliver the best medical aid possible. Are you ready to rise to the challenge and become a hero in the fast-paced world of emergency medicine services? Wishlist now? and experience the adrenaline rush of saving lives. So this is the first gameplay trailer and uh, it is already on my wish list. They do not have a date yet. It just says coming soon, but at least we've got a gameplay trailer. Let's dive in. Gunshots were reported close to a local bar. There are reports of the victim with a lot of blood. Received loud and clear. We arrived on site. Okay, let's have a look. One of the patients seems to be having trouble breathing. Let's put him in the ambulance. I'll check his vitals. The temperature is low. I'll try to stabilize him so we can take him to the hospital. Dispatch, this is ambulance 152, code three. We're on our way to San Pelicano Hospital with a 35 year old male patient. Please advise the emergency department of our rapid transport status, over. Dispatch to Ambulance 152. Received the report of a major incident, possible highway bridge collapse causing traffic accidents. Over. I found someone here. This one needs assistance right now. I'm going to defibrillate. Charging to 150 joules. Everybody, clear! Oh my goodness, I've got goosebumps. I am so excited. Right, I want to go through some of this. All right, I want to go through some of this. So Central Pelican Hospital seems to be the heart of the game. That seems to be where we end up taking patients. And I love this trailer because it gives us an actual gameplay. So it looks like we are water. It's so like a waterside location. Looking at the cars, looks like American type open world map. Um, Swift Aid, maybe this is like a private medical ambulance service. So I don't know how that is going to work. But let's have a look. Top left hand side, there's temperature. Looks like time and experience so um do we think this is 15 seconds into 45 minutes to handle this situation maybe um 911 standard looks like you get calls from 911 tells us what to do recommended uh required and recommended which is quite cool we got a nice little mini map down here on the left hand side and then right hand side, it looks like it's going to be um, Xbox controller recommended. That's RT and LB. So we've got focus mode, patient protocol, open handbook, and uh, to look at the map. I 
think this is only single player. It'd be awesome to think if this was going to be multiplayer, but it's quite difficult. So this is a few more minutes in. It's went out to six minutes. So yeah, this up here must be the timer that we have to deal with the situation. Um, up on the right, we've got a new thing, <laughs> a new HUD come up. John Doe, question mark. We know he's male. We don't know age. We don't know this yet. So I assume once we get going, we'll know. So looks like you can focus in. So but that's the focus mode icon. Um, and it tells you what's going on. So the patient has hemorrh hemorrhagic issues. So bleeding. Let's go on a little bit further. I don't think it gives us much more with that patient. It takes them straight into the ambulance, which looks to be nice and detailed. And we will be doing the driving. So that's pretty cool. I like inside they've got a defibrillator, all sorts. Okay, so. Um, let me go a bit further on. Looks like we're checking pulse and blood pressure. And this then. Um, the, the HUD changes quite often in the game. And it looks like you've got a few little mini games within what, that you have to do to to adjust the, the chair or this one here it's saying he's got tachycardia. So you can tell by um, his uh, readings on the pulse that his um, stats are too high. So I think ta his tachycardia is heart beating irregularly. Too fast. Too fast, I think. Don't quote me. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> um, uh, so this is blood pressure, isn't it? Well, just I'm sorry, look at the detail. I'm really excited by the detail here. So here looks like you're looking for a vein to be able to put the IV in. And here this looks like narcon is it not what do you call it in American? Is it narcon? So like a overdose. So if someone's had an overdose. Spray that up their nose. Looks like trauma. This looks like a like a type of EpiPen. Um, when someone has an allergic reaction type thing. Shove it straight in their thigh. And then we take them straight to Central Pelican Hospital into the bay. And then we if I look at the top here. That took 20 minutes to do all of that out of 45. So they played through that whole scenario for us there, which is really quite cool. And then they're being transferred from us to the hospital workers. Again, amazing detail. And actually, look at the expression on his face. I think that's pretty cool. And you can still see the trauma there, although he did have some trauma in his leg before. That's gone. Splitting hairs there. Now these, I'm, I'm guessing these are going to be cut scenes to different accidents, which all look very dramatic. Feels like I'm in a movie. Um, multiple patient issues. Oh, looks terrifying. So you come onto the scene. This time... Um, it looks like we have to first go in triage. So go in, look for the patients, check, check where they are and uh, assess what level of care each one needs. So it says triage here, patients found, patients triage. So that's very cool. Um, and you've got a certain time to triage. Oh, that's bad. Black tag. Even I know what that means. Unfortunately, they've uh, perished. Um, and then it's... Is it green number? I 
think red red is urgent amber medium green you know that can wait yeah red yellow green black i've watched too much gray's anatomy basically okay so this is a triage emergency area so it looks like they've just had to do a pop-up emergency situation um oh, 20 patients so this is a a sizable situation that's happened here so again very cool um let's try and and this was the screenshot which i thought was really quite good Look at just the wrinkles on her face and the detail but for a game like this this is, seems to be quite advanced which i'm loving i'm loving the look of this um required and recommended all the way along so you you don't need a uh an md or a phd to to look after these people it, it will help you yeah i i'm impressed and super duper excited okay so we've got uh iv there you put a bandage over the iv and it looks like we are filling up the injection and putting it in ourselves which is incredible um just insane i just think this is going to be incredible looks like we're going to shock people back into rhythm i yeah i i'm impressed guys i'm ex i am so excited i am so excited and i hope you are too let me know what you think in the comments below if is this on your wish list is this the type of game you like I love this type of game. I am such a medical geek. I watch all the medical programs on TV. So I'm I'm honest, when this comes out, I'm just gonna binge play it. My only concern with a game like this, with this style of quality, is its life um, excuse the pun, it's its life cycle. If if it's going to be all scenarios, are they gonna become repetitive and how are they going to manage that? Um, like, for example, is there only going to be 50 scenarios and then you finish the game? But I'm I'm interested to see how that how they're going to develop that because a game like this, you I I would want a career mode and a sandbox mode, but that would be really difficult, I think, to spawn random events. But it does happen. It people do develop these and the life series so you've got chef life you've got taxi life you've got garden life malt train life these are not small games this is a big franchise but developed by lots of different developers so there may be it may be everything that i want it to be i'm scared i really am scared but i'm i'm hoping with everything it's going to be as awesome as it looks let me know what you think of the trailer below thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now